Hello, my name is Grace and I have recently become a Year 7 student here at Highcrest Academy. Let me start with how amazing the teachers are. The teachers here at Highcrest are really kind and helpful. If you are ever lost or worried, you can always rely on other students and staff. When I started Highcrest, I was really nervous. But thanks to everyone here, I have settled in really well. With getting star of the week, I am form rep for Pink Da Vinci. Next year, this could be you on the stage, telling your friends to come here to Highcrest to aspire and achieve. Thank you for listening. Enjoy the rest of your evening. My name is Kyle and I am a Year 7 student at this school. Even though I have only been here for a month, I have so many great things to say about this place. For starters, this school offers excellent learning opportunities. The lessons are always inclusive, enjoyable and most importantly, informative. In addition to this, there are clubs you can join to further expand your knowledge and interest, such as law, science, chess and book clubs, as well as football, badminton and cricket clubs. And I'm sure there's at least one club that you'll enjoy that, and that will, you'll be, that will be of interest to you. There is a perception that starting secondary school can be scary, as some of you here may think. Yes, the size of the school appears much larger and the classes are bigger and some of the subjects may be new to you, but there's nothing really to worry about. The older students are really helpful and the lessons are always engaging. You may think that you'll receive a large amount of homework, but it's manageable and there's plenty of time to complete it, so there's no need to worry. If you have any concerns, you can discuss them with your form tutor or another member of staff as necessary and action will be taken to resolve the situation. <laughs> and I can say with certainty that there is not a single member of staff here that won't support you and that the majority of students are approachable and friendly. For example, if you get lost, just ask a member of staff or an older student to take you to the place you are trying to find. I could dive into every tiny detail, but unfortunately I have to end it here. Thank you for listening to me, and I hope to see you soon if you choose to come to the Highcrest Academy. I am now the head boy and have been at the school since year seven. And ever since, the teachers have constantly pushed me to take advantage of opportunities, such as participating in Duke of Edinburgh, representing the school at conferences, and of course, achieving good grades. As well as this, I am now doing my A-levels in English Literature, History, and Psychology. Due to the teachers at Ipress being passionate and engaging in their craft, I have now found a drive to pursue a career as a pilot, which was a childhood dream of mine. I strongly believe that Highcrest is a great school and that you too will be able to follow and achieve all your aspirations. I now pass you over to our head girl, Tracy. As I had explained earlier, my name is Tracy Yvonne and I am the head girl. I started out in year seven as a quiet, private girl and it's fair to say that the girl back then would not recognise the girl I am today. The opportunities that the school has given me, like Bridge to Employment, which is actually offered by Johnson & Johnson, Young Enterprise, Law Club, and others which I simply don't have time to mention, I've gained confidence and I've been able to build my self-esteem with the help and support of my teachers and peers. Through these experiences that the Highcrest Academy has given me, it has made my time here unique and amazing. You are all the future of the Highcrest Academy, and now it's your turn to grow and prosper. We would now like to introduce our principal, Mr Burke. How do I follow them? I think they all deserve another big round of applause. I'd like to start by giving you three key reasons why I believe you should entrust your child's future education to us here at Highcrest. Number one, your child will be happy, safe and secure 
so important for you to know as parents. But this isn't my opinion. This is the opinion of over 98% of our current students. Number two, your child will enjoy coming to school, a vital ingredient for their day-to-day -day well-being. But this isn't my opinion. This is the opinion of over 98% of our current parents. Number three, your child will make good progress. You got it? Not my opinion, but the opinion of Ofsted when they came to visit just three years ago. Indeed, when Ofsted came to visit, they judged us to be good in every aspect of everything that we do. But this was three years ago, so not content to rest on our laurels and simply wait for the next inspection to see how well we're doing, we've taken it upon ourselves every year since to invite in a former Chief Ofsted Inspector. And in his opinion, we continue to move in the right direction. My opinion is that Highcrest is so special and has so much to offer your child. But I'll be completely honest with you, I'm really biased. So tonight, it has to be about you judging us for yourselves. And as part of this process, I urge you, come and see us in action on a normal working day. And if you can't make tomorrow, give us a call, make an appointment, and a student will show you around. Whenever you take a tour of our academy, you'll notice that we offer a vast range of both academic and vocational experiences. This is to ensure that every child can find a suitable pathway that matches both their talents and their future career aspirations. You'll also notice that we have some fantastic facilities, like our wonderful main hall here with its state-of-the-art lighting and sound, our bright and cheerful classrooms, our massive sports hall, modern workshops. The list really is endless. In fact, the list continues to grow. Because we're always so oversubscribed, the local authority funded these four new areas around our site, all of which were formally opened just last year. I've noticed that you get to shake a lot of hands in this job. The smallest of these projects was a new science lab. Our sixth form block has trebled in size over two floors, expanding on the architect's drawings from this to this, giving us four additional classrooms, three additional ICT suites, personal independent study zones, and a social area with Wi-Fi throughout. Our sports hall has had a second floor built across the entirety of its length. And in this, we house a new PE theory classroom, a dance studio, and a gym. But even more exciting than this was the development of our old canteen in the background there. Again, this has doubled in size and transformed from this to this, transforming the interior into a bright, modern, dining room. Now, you can see facilities here at Highcrest have and will continue to grow. However, we all know, don't we, that a good school is about far more than simply good facilities. It's about how our staff use these facilities to benefit your children. And what fantastic staff we have here, from our canteen, our office, our site team and technicians, our pastoral support team, special educational needs support, English as an additional language support, as well as social, emotional and well-being support. And then of course, there's our fantastic teachers, who you'll find to be enthusiastic, energetic, even after a long day like today, and excited, excited about being part of our team. And this is something that I really hope you all notice as you walk around, that at Highcrest we're part of a team. We believe in team ethic and the power of a team. In fact, it's central to everything that we do. Everybody, no matter what their position in our team, has a vital role to play in the future success of our academy, in the future success of our students, and hopefully one day, in the future success of your children. <coughs> The children that we currently have here are wonderful. And again, as part of this process, I'd urge you to speak to as many of them as possible on your tours, because we all know, don't we, that they'll always give you their honest opinion.
you'll be aware that at Highcrest, we're the first comprehensive all ability academy in our selective county. Our admissions banding test, which Mrs. Weldon and Mrs. Webb will be happy to answer questions on afterwards, this isn't about teaching pupils of different abilities in different classrooms. This is about enabling us to tailor our vast range of interventions and support to ensure that every single child can participate fully and can be fully included in every single lesson. On the one hand, we support those that struggle with literacy and numeracy through early morning and after school classes, small group and one-to-one -one sessions. And on the other hand, we challenge our more able, not only in classrooms through extension tasks, but also through a range of specific extracurricular activities. And it's because of this work that we became the first school in Buckinghamshire to receive the prestigious inclusion quality mark. I must point out that this is only achieved if all pupils of all abilities are stretched to perform to their maximum and they think we're so good at this that for the past five years they've made us a flagship school for this award which means we now help other schools. One of only a handful of schools in the entire country that's been identified as being excellent at catering for all abilities. You can only imagine how proud of that we are. So what about our outcomes, our results? A-level results day is always a wonderful day to be up here over the summer, seeing the now young adults collecting their grades, and what fantastic grades they were again this year. A third of the students achieving the top A star to B grades, and 99% of our entire sixth form cohort passing their A-level qualifications. What pleased us most about this number is that it hasn't fallen below 99% for seven years. High standards maintained over time. And on top of that, our progress score, because it's positive, will easily place us in the top 10 schools in Buckinghamshire in the Department for Education's League Tables when they're published. League Tables, which let's not forget, include the grammar schools. So these good results have meant that every single student in our sixth form that applied to go to one of these prestigious universities has got a place at either their first or their second choice. Now that's success. GCSE Results Day is another wonderful day up here over the summer with lots of happy and some quite surprised faces. I really don't know why. But again, with some excellent examination results, you've seen some of them scrolling around at the start. And again, with a progress score that over time continues to move in a positive direction. These results quite simply wouldn't be possible without high standards for good behaviour. At Highcrest, good behaviour is so important to us because we know how important it is to you as parents to know that your child is surrounded by other children that behave. To help us with this, we have something called our core routines. These are routines to help us reinforce discipline, but also routines to help us reinforce common courtesies. We expect our students to hold doors open for one another, to line up quietly outside classrooms, and to always say please and thank you. To help us further embed our high expectations, we have a series of virtues linked to our motto here, Aspire and Achieve. Virtues that help us build, develop and refine our students' character to ensure that they don't only become happy and successful members of our community, but one day, more importantly, become happy and successful members of society. We remind our students every day that A is for ambition. We set our students challenging targets and we expect them to aim high. We remind, this is one way of doing it, we expect them and we, we remind them every single day 
that they really can go on and be anything at all they want to be in their lives as long as they have ambition. S is for sensitivity. We expect our students to have an appreciation and an understanding of others' feelings and beliefs so that they can help and support each other. Indeed, at Highcrest, we're a UNICEF rights respecting school. So naturally, we expect our students to treat others as they themselves wish to be treated, with sensitivity. P is for purpose. We expect our students to work with determination in every lesson, not only those lessons that they're good at and they enjoy, but more importantly, to work just as hard in those lessons where they struggle or they may not enjoy. Always working with a sense of purpose. I is for integrity. We expect our students to be honest and truthful, but not only honest and truthful to their friends and the staff, honest and truthful to themselves. We challenge our students to ask themselves difficult questions, such as, have I worked hard enough this week? And then we challenge them to give themselves an honest answer. Integrity. R is for resilience. We expect our students never to give up. We explain to them that all of us will have an off day. Everybody is capable of getting a low score in a test. But then we teach them how to pick themselves up, to dust themselves down, and to keep going, working with resilience. And finally, E is for eloquence. We encourage our students to do the important things on a regular basis, to read on a regular basis, to practice their handwriting on a regular basis, and to speak in public in front of their peers on a regular basis with eloquence. We tell our students that if they do these things, if they have these virtues, if they aspire, then they can and they will achieve. These core routines and our virtues go hand in hand. And each of every one of us who work here reinforce these lesson by lesson, day by day, week by week helping us instill a culture of excellence that then runs throughout every strand of the High Press Academy. Before I finish, if I may, just address the young people in the audience for a second. Youngsters, you've heard me speak lots about core routines and discipline and exams, so I want to reassure you that there are still plenty of opportunities here at High Press for you to have fun. You can start every day in our breakfast club, sharing tea and toast with your friends, and it's free. If you like competitions, you'll love our house system, where you get to mix and compete with and against students from different year groups in a range of competitions throughout the year, battling out for house points. Indeed, we also take part in local, national and international competitions, and just a few months ago were the proud winners of the Buckinghamshire Enterprise Award. In fact, as we speak, we have two of our Year 13 students representing not only us, but the United Kingdom. Careers and Enterprise Ambassadors in New York. They sent me these pictures through just today so that they could be included in the presentation. If drama is your thing, we have numerous productions throughout the year, including the ever popular High Press Scott Talent in which I played the Simon Cow on the judges' panel <laughs> very well. If music's your thing, learn to play an instrument, join our orchestra or sing in our choir. Or if you're sporty, clubs start at 7.30 in the morning, run all the way through lunch times, and there are numerous teams that you can be part of after school. We also have lots of trips, including adventure weekends away like this, where you can build rafts, climb and canoe. And if adventure is your thing, then why not get a qualification for doing it and join our Duke of Edinburgh award scheme? Go camping and orienteering. We also go on trips further afield to the very emotive annual trip over to the battlefields in, in Belgium, to France, 
to Paris and Disneyland last year, to Naples in Italy, and to Madrid in Spain? Or why not go further afield and visit our link school in India? So you see, youngsters, there really is something for each and every one of you here at Highcrest. To conclude, parents, when you're making this difficult decision about which secondary school to send your child to, you need to know that they'll be happy, safe and secure. You need to know that they'll enjoy coming to school and you need to know that they'll make good progress. At Highcrest, I'm confident that they will. And I hope by the end of this evening, you're able to share in my confidence. Childhood is so short. That's why at the Highcrest Academy, we will make sure that your child's school days really are the best days of their lives. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoy the rest of your evening.